Hi, it's Dwayne, and I'm going to do a video today that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. There's always been discussions as far as I can remember, and well, I wanted to put it to the test myself. So it's about thermal paste, and I think I found out that there's more wrong ways than right ways to apply it. Is this going to answer the old, old question of what is the right way of applying thermal paste? No, you're doing it wrong. No, I'm doing it right. No, you're doing it wrong. I'm doing it right. So who knows, right? I wanted to find out for myself. It's been wanting to do this for a long time. So actually I designed and 3D printed a, a rig up that I can put onto an actual motherboard. And I have it set up just like you would be installing a CPU. It's got the studs and it's got springs and the nuts. So it'd be pushing it down and I can actually adjust it as I'm going along, like you should be doing. The piece in the middle is six millimeter thick Lexan. So it's not going to flex. It's going to be nice and solid. But I also did something different. I also made up some dies. So I wanted to see if the shape would make any difference. So like this one's an H shape and this is millimeter, three millimeter squares. This one is an X. This one is a straight line. So I did a bunch of those, right? I think you're going to be surprised of what I found out. Now these dies are, the plastic itself is about a millimeter thick. Okay. But when I applied the paste, eh, it was probably somewhere between a half a millimeter and three quarters of a millimeter thick. Now that's really important to remember. Okay. And I do have it in the video. So think of it. I'm, I, I think I posted in the video, it's like three quarters of a millimeter is what I thought about the average thickness of the paste was. You're going to see it in the video, and I think you're going to be surprised of the outcome.
was kind of surprised by actually a couple of those. The one that I thought was kind of the most interesting was, and I thought it would do better, would be the ones that had like three lines, but they seemed to kind of like smush out pretty far. So to me, it seemed like just me looking at it was the best ones were that when I rubbed it around with my finger, kind of leveled it all out, or the one that was basically uh, just the square, right? The one, the die that had just the square in it. I thought that one worked out pretty well. If you notice, some of the other ones just kind of oozed over the sides. <laughs> you don't want to do that. I would rather have a little less than way too much because you don't want to get all over the, the CPU and all over the sides because who knows what might happen. But I think most of them you can see covered out, no matter what, covered most of the CPU. There was a few that was a little short on the corners, but as we all know, you know most of the heat is actually in the center. The other thing you got to think about is the thickness, right? Oh, more must be better. Actually, it's not. Okay, so you want as little as possible. So you want as little as possible to spread as much as possible. And why do you say that? Because the thermal paste can actually act as an insulation. Okay, so it can be a, an insulation barrier between the CPU and the cooler. So if I had this much between the CPU and the cooler, how do you think it's going to transfer the heat? It's not going to transfer the heat well. But if I had very little, it'll transfer the heat right from the CPU to the cooler much quicker that we can dissipate the heat. So we kind of answered a couple of questions here. So it's kind of like this, right? Just think of it this way. Less is more. Okay. So and think about this. <laughs> Throughout my whole testing that I did, I used one tube of thermal paste. So if you're putting yours on and you use a tube of thermal paste or maybe like a half a tube or even a quarter of a tube, you got too much on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure that you subscribe, you know, wherever it's at, somewhere around here. Make sure that you subscribe. Really could use the help. Uh, we want to make more videos. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a great day.